Yo, 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 what is up, what is up, what is up, guys? I hope everyone's having a fantastic day today. Day two of Eagles Road to Free Agency. Um, yesterday was a tough day, man. Yesterday just seemed like uh, it was just like, man, I was trying to be excited about other things yesterday, but, man, the Jason Kelsey stuff really hit me yesterday. No joke, like, it was... Man, you watched that whole entire... You watched that whole entire 40-minute press conference it was felt like we were you know we were just losing a whole bunch of you know i don't know i felt like we were on a lose-lose situation it just it just it just felt like a river of tears um you know kind of kind of crazy but um hope everybody's doing well i mean uh we got another week and a half. I mean, we're we're close to free agency. I mean, uh, got some nuggets here and there of some things that could happen. But it was a tough, it was a tough day though. Tough day yesterday. So a lot going on with the Eagles, especially. Um, there's some some rumors even going around about a Christian Wilkins type signing. Uh, where Seth Joyner said some things about, hey, you know, since we're paying two, you know, pretty much two really low tier, you know, money wise to two defensive tackles, you know, why don't you go and sign a big time defensive tackle? Now, Christian Wilkins did really like uh, playing with Vic Fangio under him. Um, and I don't know if that's the route they'll they'll go. You know, I know there's going to be people out there that say, "Well, they have the money to do it, so just do it." You know, um, but I don't know if that's going to be the main thing they do. I mean, other than defensive tackle, they they need. You know, I'd rather get a couple edge guys and get defensive tackle to a you know it's a high money right now. Um, you know, but you know you're going to sign some big contracts at least one big contract and some mid-tier guys like you know i you know at the end of the day guys we can't cover every you know can't cover starters and depth and everything and make everything look so damn perfect every day since now the whole kelsey thing is a whole different story now because we don't know if cameron you know we don't know if cam jurgens is going to move this you know is going to stay at right guard or go to center I mean, I would think he's going to center, which makes right guard the big hole right now. Um, you know, and that's a whole nother thing. I don't think it's going to be as bad as everyone thinks it's going to be. I mean, I think, you know, Jeff Stalin has a plan in motion, um, you know, with some guys. So gonna be, it's going to be interesting. But um, I want to thank everybody for joining the stream today on day two. Uh, we have ADW The Beat uh join the camper tier thank you so much man for joining up memberships are up guys extra draft content um is up so for little as two bucks where you want the extra content it's there um live chat in the pinned comment and description of the video as well try either or i think and i think some of the some of these links have been kind of weird lately where people can't click on them or get to the page um so appreciate it uh, Sean says, hoping we just make smart strategic decisions hanging forward, but I'm intrigued for the season to come. Yeah, same, same here. Same here. What's going on, who that dude? What's going on, man? Or is it spring is soon upon us? Start crunching. <laughs> What's going on, CJ? Dan Vegas, I'm dehydrated from watching the Kelsey retirement. Yeah. It was a tough day, no doubt. What's going on, Tommy? Yeah, Fletcher Cox is going to be another one that's going to retire. It's not official yet, but it's um, it seems like it's going to happen. Um, just don't know when it's going to happen yet. You know what I mean? Right, so the more tape I watch of these wire series, they'll come draft to open my eyes to how nuts the wire series class is. <laughs> I know. I know. I will fight with Eagle fans. I'm, I'm fighting with Eagle fans already about drafting a receiver in the first round if the Eagles go that direction for a specific reason. You know what I mean? I mean, I think of it as this. I think of it as you can still get you can still get the players you want. You can still get a top corner in the second round. I feel like some of these guys are going to drop. Um, because at the end of the day, like, even if you... I'm not saying, you know, you have the Xavier Worthy or something like that, but even Dante Mitchell, uh, you get a big receiver like that, or you get a at Lad McConkey, that probably won't be a... Fr I don't know if Lad McConkey is going to be a first-round selection, but his, his, you know, his combine actually, you know, obviously helped his draft stock, but 
you think of it like this you have aj brown for two more years you're going to sign Devontae smith on a big extension you're not paying two receivers over 20 million dollars so why not add to your offense this year not for just for this year but for the future okay and go grab a guy that's going to help you get 30 plus points on the board it's more it's more weapons for kellen moore okay I don't think they should get a low-tier type receiver that's just going to not get some attention in this offense and just somewhat be a little productive. Do we want an all-star monster at that position? They could get one in this draft. But like I said, like you could have two number ones in the future again. Um, you know, I don't think anyone's going to put up the numbers that A.J. Brown has put up so far. We'll see. Um, but, you know, Devontae Smith, I don't think, has been unleashed to his full potential I, I don't think any of these players have been unleashed to their full potential yet of what they actually can do consistently every single year um you know i still think everybody was underutilized i think the receivers were at least with kellen moore you know you're gonna get a balanced offense you're gonna get pre-snap motion you're gonna get plays under center you're gonna get yeah the run pass ratio is a little lopsided but they the chargers ran a lot more than we did last year which says a lot. So, Bree says, Howie wanted to trade for Russell Wilson. Get Howie out of Philly quick. <laughs> yeah, so Russell Wilson's pretty much going to get released. Um, it's not official yet because it's not the new league year yet. So, like, that's the plan right now with Denver. I mean, they have $85 million in dead cap from just releasing him. I mean, the Eagles wouldn't have the, the Eagles would have been in a, in a, um, the Eagles would have been in a big, uh, they would have been in a hole right now. So I think we I think we all know that. Who that dude? What's going on? Who that dude? He says Jags cut cornerback and safety. Yeah, I seen that. I just saw that on Twitter not too long ago. I forgot. I forgot their names, but um two guys available. There's gonna be a lot available in free agency, guys. There's gonna be a lot of people inv- available. I think free agency wise in general, the Eagles are after running back. The Eagles are after safety, and the Eagles are after um, the Eagles are after linebacker. I think those are the three positions they're going to be after. Um, you know, in free agency, I don't know if they're going to have interest in wide receiver three. So it's going to tell you, like, if they sign a wide receiver three in free agency, they're not going to get a receiver in this draft. It's obvious. Um, but if corner is wide open, wide receiver three is wide open. You know, we'll see. Hey, Trap says Kelsey should have stayed one more year. Yeah, I I mean, that's what I thought was going to happen. That's what I thought was going to happen. Smoke that boy says trade up in the second round to get worthy unless you were trying to get a wide receiver to have a fifth year option, grab one first. Yeah, I mean, I worthy worthy is I don't know. Worthy to me is is just I don't think that's the guy you want for the future. I mean, if you put him in the slot, it would be great, but I'm talking like He's just all speed. Um, I know he's got route running. I know he's got a lot more it brings to the table, but we need someone with more size. Devontae Smith as small as it is, and for the future, you don't want two smaller type receivers as your starters. You want to get somewhat of a bigger receiver. Um, You know, so, you know, we'll see. I just don't think Worthy should be the number one guy in Philadelphia. It would be awesome for this year, but for the future, I don't know. I said with Jurgens at center, if Steen don't start at guard, don't look at him as a bust or more about that. No, I don't look at I don't look at Steen like that because he's way too raw right now. So he needs another off season. I don't think they pay a guard high price money like crazy. I think they go into the free agency pool and get a plug in type player that's going to play really well. Um, that doesn't have the highest reputation. Um, that's not going to get paid the most, but a guy that's going to go in there and do pretty well because you could plug in one guy in your offensive line. A lot of teams do that, and some guys end up playing even better. Um, you know, so I don't think that's going to be a big deal. It's definitely a hole right there. Uh, I don't think they believe in Tyler Steen too much as their starter this year. Um, he's not a bust or anything like that. And you can't really call a guy a bust because. A bust is a first-round pick not working out, in my opinion. A bust is... That's what a bust is. Um, I wouldn't say a bust. I would say a work in progress uh, more than anything. Uh, Ray uh, Gerard says, how he needs to wean off his addiction to the one-year deals. Yeah, that's got to (laughs) stop. That's definitely got to stop because I feel like it's hurting us more than anything. Like I feel like they need to sign some guys 
They need to lock some players up. I think that's the way they really have to go this year. Uh, they they can't continue like this. You had a whole linebacker core that was pretty much one year deals. You can't you can't you can't do well with a team like that. You know, and and you know, I know how he wants those comp, you know, compensatory picks. That's what it comes down to. That's why he does that to get those compensatory picks. Um, or you know, you let go of a position and draft the same position, you get a compensatory pick. So, or if you let go of somebody and sign somebody within their first year, you know, it's it's the compensatory pick game. The Eagles got four compensatory picks this year. How he loves working that game. I don't care if you do it just once or twice, but he's done it does it a lot does it a lot and i don't want one entire position to be that and obviously linebacker was an issue because um linebacker was an issue because uh you know kobe dean ended up getting hurt and the eagles were pretty much in panic mode by this point um i hear they uh nifty 350d with the super chat thank you so much man says i hear they met with cooper dijon opinion yeah so so cooper cooper did not did not work out at the combine um it's a guy that could play multiple positions in your secondary which i think that's where his value is um unfortunately you know there's really i I think we have to kind of get more stock with him because his you know we'll have his pro day soon um you know i don't know how much interest is there now i don't know if these unofficial visits are official yet um when it comes to who they're bringing in i know i heard of cooper uh DeGene. i always say his name wrong um and there's like four offensive linemen coming in because i think an offensive lineman is definitely going to get drafted within the first three picks that's what i think is going to happen because you know you, you have no depth at any position right now you have no depth at left tackle left guard center right guard right tackle you have no sue opetta you have no uh, Jack Driscoll, you're kind of screwed there. Um, but getting a guy that that's more of a hybrid type guy that's athletic as hell, and I really do like him a lot. I just need to see more. Um, I don't know if he's going to be the main guy they want. He could fall down if his pro day doesn't go well. I think he's falling down anyway, just because of you know not showing up to the combine definitely hurts you tremendously going forward. But you know we'll see. We got a super chat from Martin Perez. Thank you so much, dude. He says, Maddox will get cut. Isaiah Rodgers is next as Nickel. Oh, yeah, 100%. I think Isaiah Rodgers is the most, I think, exciting player that I'm able you know, to watch this offseason. Uh, he you know, might be a little rusty because he was. He hasn't played for a year, but he's been practicing his tail off, though. Uh, Maddox, you're not restructuring him. You're not extending him. You're cutting him. He's almost a $10 million cap hit this year. The Eagles are not holding on to him at that number. And Maddox will free up seven point one million dollars after post June first. Um, you know, so I I'm kind of done with Maddox. I mean, you already got two guys at that position with torn ACLs, or not sorry, not torn ACLs, but McPherson has an ACL. Um, you know, and Maddox had the other injury, the pectoral. Um, but McPherson's coming off an ACL as well. He was supposed to be the backup that was supposed to come in. So I was actually really excited for Zach McPherson a lot. Oh, unfortunately, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen at all. So, Isaiah Rodgers is, I think we have the perfect depth at corner right now. And if they add another guy to it as a starter, I think we're going to be perfect for the competition we're going to have. You know, um, um, Eli Ricks had some flash. I thought Keely Ringo had a lot of good flash last year, especially the first two games he had where she practiced, where she was going to start um under matt patricia i thought he played really well those first two games those first two games he had um because i think realistically i think keely ringo could be uh, end up being your number two if he gets any better um and go draft your number one going forward so i've been dying for this secondary to get younger i've been dying for just to get some new blood in the secondary and get some just just and get some homegrown talent drafted to philadelphia that's probably the most important thing you know I, it is what it is. Todd McPherson says, uh, says Ezra, who do you... Th- oh, he's asking Ezra. Who are you, how are you thinking how he takes with the first pick? Um, I honestly I honestly don't know. I feel like really... Free agency is going to designate what we do. If it was all up to me at the end of the day, I still think you can get a pass rusher. Um, 
I th- I would I would love to get a cornerback. I would cornerback would be my number one right now. It, it really would. I want to get that position already taken care of and done with. Um, you know, second I would love to get an edge rusher. Not second round, but just second in general. I, I if they went a different direction, I would go edge rusher. I don't think you're getting the top edge rushers in this draft. Um, I don't think you have you know chop. I don't think you have a. I don't think you have a chance on chop. I don't think you have a chance on Latou from UCLA. Um, the Eagles would have to move up. They mostly move up every single year. That's what the the Eagles mostly do move up in the draft. So I'm never really worried about that. Um, but we'll see. Thomas says the Eagles are linked to the John because it's versatile, versatile and the Eagles like, oh yeah. I mean, Sidney Brown is going to be that too, you know, being a versatile hybrid type player. You know, we haven't had a hybrid player since, you know, Chauncey, Garner Johnson, um, Malcolm Jenkins, you know, could play any position. You have a guy that could do that. That covers up a lot of weaknesses in your defense. Um, so it's going to be interesting. Aaron Tuck says, I see a lot of virus here through talking the draft, but I feel like we have so many holes at linebacker edge and corner. Is it even worth it this season? I do agree we need another receiver, but I feel like a year, we a year too early. They don't necessarily know. Probably not. If you're just talking about this year, they probably don't need a receiver. They can go out in free agency and go sign somebody. But this is a class that you cannot ignore. <laughs> you really can't. But it depends how they're looking at it. Are they looking at it for just this year? Are they looking at it as if, they need somebody for now, and A.J. Brown's not going to get paid again by the Philadelphia Eagles, so you want to get your other number one in the draft. That's that's how you're kind of going to look at it, you know, on each side. Um, yeah, there's a lot of holes, linebacker, safety, you know, running back. I mean, there's holes everywhere. So I think at this point, they need to start thinking, is it about the future or is it about – I know it could be about both, but – do they want somebody right now or do they feel like they could pass in the draft on receiver to feel like they need another position? So um, I think a lot of guys are going to fall um, and the Eagles have four fifth round picks. They got a lot of ammo and they got a lot of money. They're going to have a lot more money uh, as, as the days go on. So we'll see. They said, didn't Howie just take 30 and 28 year old for the D? What do you mean? You're talking, you're talking, uh, what are you talking, Bradbury and uh, Slay? Aaron Tuck says, y'all, so you're my favorite and most rele- uh, realist Eagle fan I've seen. I hate I hate half our fan base can't lie respect to you, though. I, no, I appreciate it, man. No, I appreciate the support, no doubt. I mean, that's, I'm just real, uh, real, that's, that's, that's what I am. I'm just realistic all the time. But I appreciate it, man. Appreciate the kind words. They said, I don't think we're getting DeAndre Swift back. So, yeah, the news came out that DeAndre Swift is testing the free agent market, which really sucks. That's not a good sign. <laughs> I mean, it's it's not a bad sign either because I think all these running backs want to find out, like, how much they're going to get. And this is going to be the first time in a while where DeAndre Swift, like, is, is going to want some money because, you know, I don't think these, these running backs are getting paid over $10 million a year. I don't think it's going to happen at all. So, I don't know, bro. Could be wrong, but... I, I think he's just going to test out the market, see what happens. If he feels like, you know, it's just not going to go well, he might come back. I hope he comes back, dude. I really hope he goes back. Uh, Keith Allenberg says, Sign Dave, uh, Gabe Davis, free agent for Robert Shearer 3. He did great as to 3 in Buffalo. Yeah, is is he is he too? What was his statistics last year? Because if he's if he's got over a thousand yards, you know he's going to be out of price range for the Eagles for a wide receiver three. Because Gabe Davis is great. I would love Gabe Davis. I forgot he was even free. Because I'm not really into the guys. To be honest with you, I'm not really interested in Tyler Boyd. I'm not really interested in Hollywood Brown. He would be a good fit, but I don't trust his health. Um, there's a lot of lot of guys I just have no trust into with that wide receiver three position, especially on the market right now. So, Tommy said, brothers, uh, me, uh, let's see, brothers, me so much, Nolan Smith never got any outside linebacker reps last year. At least we know he'd do that in that spot. Well, at least that's what we know it's going to happen. I can't blame Nolan Smith for not getting reps last year. I mean, I know Nolan Smith got hurt twice last year, but at the same time, dude, like, even during the season was like, what, we were 30% into the season. Sean Desai is, is telling us, like, oh, we can only give so many snaps to so many guys. But, dude, this is your first round pick. So, in... I think he's going to flourish in a Vic Fangio scheme as an outside linebacker. I think that's where he's going to be used mostly. And 
I can't complain about that at all. You talking now? So I think Maddox restructures rather than get cut. There's no point in cutting him for the sake of cutting him. But I think with his injury history, they will be able to restructure for a lower cap hit. But dude, I feel like you need. Not only do you have to, you need a good backup just in case he gets hurt. Okay, you need to make sure that you have a liability back there too that's going to help him. Okay, I don't know. I don't. I uh, to me, I I'm sorry, but I I don't think it's going to work out. I don't think it's going to work out at all. I feel like they should get their seven point one million dollars and let these guys compete. Bringing him back and bringing him back and bringing him back. Yeah, I mean, if they want to redo his contract and, and you know, give him, you know, I mean, he needs to make no fucking money because he's not even worth a million dollars right now, even on the cap. Okay, his base salary is not even worth it at this point. So. Uh, they say, hate to say it, but linebacker safety, how he seems to only be looking for bargains. We'll see what happens, dude. Like, the philosophy might be changing. Got to remember. Um, you got to remember, Vic Fangio has a lot of control over this roster. Kellen Moore has a lot of control over what he wants, too. So I, I would give it time because, you know, maybe things aren't going to be the same. Maybe the philosophies are going to change a little bit and what they go after and give more attention to going forward. Nate said, I mean, the safety from Denver... And hold on. Yeah, no, I dude, I, I do not want to trade for Justin Simmons. Like all like if don't grab one year type bargains like like what was said before. Okay. Don't trade for 30 year old fucking safeties. I mean, they trade for Justin Simmons. And yes, Justin Simmons has a connection to Vic Fangio because Vic Fangio was the uh was the uh head coach to Denver at one point. Tommy says no to Gabe Davis. No thanks. Boy says Saquon's the Cowboys will suck for us. Well, did you hear the rumored news today that the Eagles are a team interested? The Eagles are a team that's interested in getting Saquon Barkley, which I think is really interesting. I wonder if Kellen Moore actually, I mean, I've always wanted to see, okay, as much as he was a giant, I've always I've always wanted to see what Saquon Barkley would do with the Philadelphia Eagles. You know, you're a top 10 pick that goes to a shitty team, okay? And you know, you get hurt multiple years. And that's why you don't draft running backs early because especially if you're a team in the top 10, you're most likely a shitty team that barely has any resources. To help your running back. That's why that offensive line is highly valued. But I think a lot of us have always wanted to see Saquon Barkley in Eagles green. Or at least see him behind this offensive line. Or at least, you know what I mean? You know, but these guys are going to cost money though. That's that's the problem. You know, that's, that's the main issue going forward. You know what I mean? I like Saquon to the Eagles though. I don't mind that move at all. If he can stay healthy, yeah. I think he'll be a lot more healthier because I don't think they're going to run as much, but they'll run more than last year. And God, would be a dream. Alan Ramos says, it's realistical sign Swift and King Henry. I, I think it's pretty realistic. I think from the rumors last year with Derrick Henry from that report that came out last year, uh, I think there was a lot of reports going on with that. And uh, I think Swift wants to come back, but you just, I think these running backs just want to see what they want to, you know, what they're going to get, you know, going forward, you know. Lewis is out on Davis. It's not a lot of rooks who could play and pick from once the top three are gone. Yeah, but look how, how many quarterbacks are going to get taken. You know what I mean? I think there's going to be a lot of, I think, how many teams are going to be interested in quarterbacks this year? When you think about it. Because that really, you know, is there going to be a tight end off the board? Is there going to be an offensive lineman off the board? You know, the more that happens, the you know the Eagles are going to get another player that slides to them, a closer chance. Aaron Tuck says, Chauncey R. Johnson, Eli Moore, the linebacker from Titans, forget his name, Shire, his name is, and Van Ginkle, my free agent predictions. Yeah, I don't know how much Shire is going to cost. I don't think it's going to be much. They could sign two. I like I said, I would double dip at linebacker and then sign and then sign get one in the draft. I really would. I would I would sign two guys at linebacker immediately long term. 
maybe a prove it type guy for two years and a long-term guy in Van Ginkle, which makes a lot of sense. Van Ginkle, in my opinion, is a Philadelphia Eagle. Do we do we actually want to bet right now that Van Ginkle will be an Eagle at this point? I, I feel like it's already set in stone. I'm already getting prepared for it, man. So I'm getting prepared, man. Bingo said, so I guarantee how he will not draft the corner. We'll see what happens. See what happens. If Bradbury's on the roster by draft time, then it's going to be an issue. Okay? Actually, no, it's not. Because at the end of the day, like, Bradbury... Bradbury is either going to be like, know that he's going to be leaving, and they're going to extend him and then cut him. Um, but, you know, I know Marshawn Lattimore is going to be available um, as well. I know he's got a little bit of an injury history, but it looks like the Saints are trying to... Saints are trying to get under the cap right now. They're they're deep in the hole right now, and they're trying to get rid of players. Um, you know, Lattimore could be available for a few years for us. I don't know. I you know I don't know if they go after Lejarius Need. I don't know if they go after Jalen Johnson from Chicago. There's a, there's a lot of guys. <laughs> Ryan says be good. Who with the uh, with Otago or Edge at 22 with uh, two seconds to uh, to corner and safety. Will says, unless we make a trade for a Packs retainer, unknown name, what's young? Yeah, we drafting a corner. May be the best one because folks were dro folks are dropping. Yeah, I know. And I think what comes to it too as well, you got to remember the 2017 draft, Sidney Jones, right? Sidney Jones was supposed to be the first round pick for us before he had the Achilles injury at his pro day. He was supposed to be drafted by the Eagles in the first round and it never happened. I don't not believe they will never draft a corner in the first round. I just feel like they got a bargain with they got a bargain with um some guys, okay? And unfortunately, you know, some of you know, our cornerback spot is just not working out anymore in this scheme. I don't think we're athletically great enough to hold up in this scheme. It was says why draft hold on. Uh, but said, why draft the quarterback when you clearly have Slay, JV, Ringo, Ricks, Rodgers, and Maddox under contract? It literally doesn't make sense. We need a linebacker. We need a safety. We need an interior lineman. It's obvious. Okay, so what do you do in free agency then? Do you think they're not going after some of these positions in free agency? Don't ignore free agency. Don't ignore free agency and say they're not going to go after these guys in free agency. Okay, like James Bradbury. You, what, we're set at corner with James Bradbury? We're not. <laughs> you know you have another, you have two new coordinators again this year slay slay's only going to be here for one more year jb's going to be here probably not going to be here this year okay ringo ricks rogers is great <clears throat> i think the depth that corner is great for camp and to see what happens okay i i am fine with people um competing for that nickel spot but they're going to go after some guys. Vic Fangio is going to go after his own guys in free agency. Like, it's obvious. Yes, yes. I know it's obvious they need linebacker. I know it's obvious they need fucking safety. I know it's obvious they need a fucking running back. They need uh, a right guard. They need, yeah, I get it. I understand that 100%. But they're going to be going after, they're not, they, they're going to go after some of these positions in free agency. I think safety, I know. Rumor wise, they've been high, they've been very high at safety in the market, safety and linebacker. So those are the two I know that they're definitely going after. Not saying they're not going to go after these positions in the draft. They can go after another linebacker in the draft. They can go after another safety. If they want to get bullard in the draft or something like that. You know, then that's fine. Kyle Reese's Fangio, linebacker targets, Andrew Van Ginkle, and Josie Jewell. Van Giggle already signed to me also. I think that's an obvious one. Fitness Rover says, Joey, what's good? What have I missed so far? Just talking free agency, man. Just talking about what the moves the Eagles could make. Okay, so I take Dante Jackson from Carolina. Yeah, I saw that he got released. I saw that he got released. Sometimes I get that Howie still has faith in Nicobe, but I'd rather roll the dice with Cunningham again, sign Ginkle, and draft a, a linebacker. They could do that too. That's not that's not bad. That's not a bad thing. Like if they brought back, you know, Cunningham on a one-year deal, whatever. 
but I feel like they still got to go after. They need to sign that position two times. And if they don't get Cunningham, they should they should do it three times. They should hit that position three times. No joke. I'd go, I'd go three. You know? So how are we going to make a splash? And that will determine the draft. I, I think so, dude. Like I said, it's really hard to like talk about draft. I mean, it's not hard to talk about draft. But, you know, to designate where they're going to go, it, it's going to be interesting. The van with the super chat. Thank you so much, man. It says, gotta go. Thanks for the info, bro. No problem, man. I appreciate it so much, dude. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for coming in. Uh, Kale Cars is breaking. Jamal Adams has been cut. Maybe convert him to linebacker. <laughs> God, that guy needs to retire. He, need, he needs to retire. Because I guarantee we draft a linebacker and center guard free agent will be running back safety at edge. Yeah, it could be. I would still look at Chase Young as an edge guy for $13 million. I still free agency. I think safety, linebacker, edge. They need they need two guys on the edge. They need two. Get one in free agency at a, at a realistic cost. You know what I mean? That's that's what I would do. <clears throat> Bob said Ringo will not work as a replacement cornerback. His straight line speed does not translate. He's very stiff in his transitions. He needs to be moved. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I think there's. I I, I agree with that a hundred percent. Um, I just think he just, you know, I think these guys just need more time. You know, Ringo needs more time and needs to be used right as well. Um, unfortunately, like, I don't think any of these guys were put in good position. I think he is a little stiff at times. No joke, you know, no doubt. Um, but I can't really name one corner that played well last year. I, I really can't. The scheme just didn't fit these players. I don't want the scheme to be over the players. So that's, that's the problem. Yeah, BG, yeah, so I didn't talk about it yet, Nathan. So that, that I think BG went on radio yesterday. I think he was on WIP yesterday and talked about um, that he's definitely not retiring. He's going to play somewhere. But uh, he says, I don't want to play anywhere else, but we're going to see what happens. So I don't know how much, I don't know, I honestly don't know how much, um, I don't know how much he's really going to produce. Um, is it a wasted spot? I don't know. I, I don't know what's going to happen, but, um, you know, it's going to be interesting. So we know Fletcher Cox is probably going to retire. It looks like he will retire. We'll see what happens. Ryan says Reddick should be the first signing. Can't, um, can't lose him and freeze up cap space. Well, yeah, I mean, it's, you're going to free up cap space regardless if you lose him or, or, re, or, or attain him. You know what I mean? So if you, if you get him back, be great. Um, $11 million on an extension. That's how much you free up. And that gets you over $50 million in cap space, close to 60 million. I mean, it's crazy, dude. I mean, you're going to, you could potentially have over just by one move with buyer you're at 44 and a half. Now, with, if you extend and hopefully this, this move gets done, it's got to get done soon. Brian Burns, apparently like the Panthers don't want to give him a bigger contract. Um, you know, I know Brian Burns is a lot, he's a lot, you know, he's a lot, uh, you know, younger, but they got, they got to get some shit going, man. They got to get this deal done. Because if you lose Reddick, then you're going to, look, if you lose Reddick, okay, you're going to have to, at this point, get more Vic Fangio type scheme guys. He'll go, if they lose Reddick, he'll sign more scheme guys. I'm not saying that that Reddick's not a scheme guy because he has played the outside linebacker position before. But can they, but paying him all that money, is he going to produce what he's produced the last couple of years? You know, that's, you know, four years of double digit sacks is, it's kind of amazing. Um, and not a lot, not a lot of players do that, <laughs> you know? Um, now there was a tweet from, um, a per, I think Reddick's personal trainer, okay, his personal trainer said that he wants to stay in Philadelphia. So I don't think Reddick wants to go anywhere. I think he's just just trying to find out what his number is, go back to the Eagles, give them the number, see if they can work out around that. Or meet in the middle, you know? Yo, Anthony, what's going on, man? Hope you're doing good, dude. Hope everything's going well with you. Thanks for coming in, dude. Quandry, uh, Quandry Diggs got released. Interesting. Yeah, we'll see what happens, Bingo. Look, at the end of the day, like, hey, I, 
I'm not I'm not always right. I'm not always wrong, you know, but I'm not definitely not always right. So, you know, uh, we all have our, you know, we have some things going. Because damn, they also cook quandary digs. Yeah, there's there's gonna be a lot. Like I said, dude, there's gonna be a lot available, man. How old is Quandre? By, uh, by you know, I always want to know the ages of all these guys. Like you always forget. John says we need linebackers to safety definitely, but I think we're gonna make some moves we don't expect. I, I agree. I agree. What's the big splash move you think they make? Tommy says last time we drafted cornerback, we hit big. Leader Shepard, Sheldon Brown, do it again. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Ringo's only twenty two. Give him a break. I mean, I, I have to give him a break. I, look at the scheme that we've... I mean, the scheme has been the same, but man, like, all these players were not playing good last year. Oh, Quandre Diggs is 31. Yeah, I knew he was a lot older. I thought he was... Yeah, I thought he was 20. I thought he was between, like, 28 to 30. Uh, Zuhu FK says, with the first pick, we take Cooper Dijon with his versatility, then draft Edgar and Cooper and Ricky Purcell in the second. Now that that would be really interesting. Really interesting. Ryan says, last time we drafted corner high, uh, high was Sidney Jones and was a bust. Well, Sidney, well, technically wasn't, well, dude, you can't say he was a bust because, dude, he, he came off like an Achilles injury. That's number one. Number one, number two, you don't call guys bust unless they're first round picks. A bust is like a first round pick bust was what makes sense of it being a bust. Second round picks don't show up to be, you know, a second round pick should be starting on the field for you. But Bill says, yeah, I ain't worried about Ringo. I like him in the second season. He'll be fine. Johnson, Jalen Johnson just got tagged by Chicago. Oh, that sucks. So they're going to, they're going to pay his ass. They're going to pay his ass. So Antoine Winfield, Antoine Winfield got tagged. Jalen Johnson forgot who else got tagged. Maria says, if we draft O-line, it'll be uh, OT. We have our center and our set at guard. Are we really set at guard, though? Right guard? Tyler Steen? I don't know. Damn, Seahawks let go of both safeties. This is going to be interesting, though, because our defensive coordinator... Our, our, sorry, our defensive line coach was a part of that defense. Um, so I think a lot, a lot of, there could be a lot, there could be some Seattle guys coming to Philadelphia as well. So we'll see. Looks like Patriots are placing transition tag on safety Kyle Duggar. That's interesting. Andre Diggs, huh? Andre Diggs is an interesting one. Wilson is going to Washington, you think, huh? up anthony anthony's the guy that runs uh is one of my guys that runs the discord my official discord if you guys haven't joined it definitely join up we talk eagles in there i haven't been in there in a bit i've been really busy uh but we usually do during the season and the off season we do like you know we'll do like video chats we'll do chats in there and stuff like that uh so definitely join up on that discord if you guys haven't jace max i'd rather lose bg than cox cox still producing that is true that is true I thought Fletcher Cox played really good in the rotation. I thought he played really well. Uh, we got 224 in the chat. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new. Like this stream up like crazy if you have not. Appreciate it so much. Check out the pinned comment for extra draft stuff that we've been putting out. Put out two draft highlight videos already on the membership. So definitely get the lowest tier membership and you get all the extra content if you want in the pinned comment and in the description below so definitely check that out um <clears throat> thoughts on the kobe dean yet i mean he's got to be available bro to even really show anything you got to put as much competition in front of him as possible they have to triple dip at linebacker i mean they got to go crazy triple dip at linebacker they're gonna have to 
Positive. If Xavier McKinney gets tagged, he'd be my priority or safety to sign. Yeah, McKinney would be a good fit at safety. Maria Sanchez says, draft Dijon to start at safety and add depth um, to the cornerback room and Cooper and Colson, the second wide receiver, three in the third. Safety, corner, line, uh, linebacker. Burns got tagged. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, they're going to try to work a long-term deal with him. They're going to try. I mean, I saw the reports that they... Apparently, he wanted like over $30 million a year. They offered him twenty seven. I guess, during the season. They never accepted it. I guess he rejected it. Let's see. DB talking now. It says, grab Chauncey Gardner Johnson and trade a fifth for Simmons to pair them together, but fifth at most. Well, I don't... I, I want to give Reed Blankenship competition, no doubt, but... I wonder if Chauncey's coming back. The reports came out that the Eagles have interest in bringing him back. I wonder. I wonder if Detroit will resign him. I don't know if they're in his. Pl I don't know if their long term plans are with Chauncey. To be honest, I mean Chauncey's what twenty six, twenty seven. I mean he's just getting into his prime now. Um. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Yeah, Opeta, yeah, but Opeta could start for you, but he's he plays both guard spots really well. That's why I think he's got so much value. I, I really want to re-sign Opeta back as a depth guy again this year. Hey, but if they don't sign Swift, maybe do a cheap combo of Kareem Hunt and, and Hell Air and draft a running back like Allen or Lloyd. Yeah, I don't I don't know. Kareem Hunt, no. I I don't think they go that direction at all. Um, Hell Air. I don't know what he's what he was he what has he done the last couple years? Um, is he still like is he still a KC? As he because I know he hasn't he hasn't been the main focal point back. So Steen and Opeta would start for a lot of teams. Well, not Steen. I mean Steen what what did Steen show us last year? He was too raw last year. Too raw. Dalen Johnson is worth a tag in a trade. Yeah, maybe they want to. So either they're going to sign him to a long-term deal, or they're going to try to tr tag and tr a tag and trade, try to get something for him. <laughs> no, we're not drafting a guard in the first round. No. Born alone, die alone says we're definitely picking up a linebacker free agency, best player available. Uh, not need end of the draft. Big big birds boy. Yeah. So I mean, I feel like yeah. It's it's. I, I don't know if they go after a Patrick Queen or something like that. I think they go after a guy that fits more of what Vic Fangio does, and that probably will be. Um, it probably will be Van Ginkle. I don't know. Van Ginkle just sticks out to me because he had such a successful year with Vic Fangio, and you know he's twenty nine years old. I get it. He's a little bit older, but for a few years. I mean, he's he played really. I mean, he had like fifty three quarterback pressures, six sacks, did really good. That's a that's a guy. When you watch the Miami Dolphins defense last year, all you heard was Van Ginkle, Van Ginkle, Van Ginkle. His coverage is pretty good, and he attacks the line pretty good too. He's a nice downhill guy too. They like to attack with him a lot. Who else says I take Chop or that Edgerin guy first? Yeah, I mean I don't Edgerin. I think will be. I think the Eagles could get Edgerin. I think I think they have a chance for Edgerin Cooper, but I think Chop. I think a lot of these rushers are not going to be available, man. If they stay at twenty two, I think they're going to miss out on Latou, Chop. I don't know. Chop would be great though. Nah, I'm not, I'm not interested in Bobby Wagner. Ryan says two free agent linebackers because rookies ain't stepping in right away, most likely. And this is a, a Super Bowl window right now. I mean, this is what you have right now. Not saying that nobody can come in. If you wanted to go in the second round, if someone falls, like, go get another guy. Like, if you want to get Trotter Jr., go ahead and get him. I feel like they have to double dip in free agency at linebacker and then go into the draft. Um, get a high-priced guy and get a mid-tier guy in free agency if that's what you want to do.
Tommy Vibes says, what would you be willing to trade for Snead? I'm a big fan of his aggressive and your face style of play. Oh, yeah, he's got pushback mentality, no doubt. He would fit well in Philadelphia. I don't know, for Snead, man. You, I, realistically, I think you're going to have to give up one of those second-round picks. You're, realistically, you're going to have to give up one of those second-rounders, maybe a couple mid-rounders, maybe a second and a fifth for this year, and maybe a seventh. I don't know. I feel like a second and a fifth is going to be like two picks. Two picks you're going to have to give up for, for Legarius Sneed. I think that's what's going to happen. Jamal Player says, we need to go get a Isaiah Simmons and an Al uh, Sharice linebacker from Tennessee for linebacker and trade for Packers or Teen or Asante Samuel Jr. then sign Swift back and draft Michigan running back for a duo. Yeah, I mean, Isaiah Simmons, I mean, I mean, he's another hybrid type guy that can play multiple positions, and the Giants traded a sixth, a seventh. I mean, that was a steal trade at the time. Uh, Al Shair is, is interesting because Bobby King is actually the Titans – uh, was the Titans linebacker coach, now the Eagles linebacker coach now. Chair had like 163 tackles with like two sacks last year. Um, you know, not the best coverage guy, but as a down, I mean, I, I don't know if he's going to fit in Philadelphia, unfortunately. We'll see. See what happens. Uh, then sign Swift back and draft. Yeah, I mean, Swift, I, I want Swift back, dude. <laughs> I want Swift back. Aiden, what's going on, man? First. Did you see Slay is trying to recruit Quandre Diggs to Philly? And no, I did not. I, all this news is coming out now, so I have no idea. But there'll be a, a big video today, though. I mean, for tomorrow, at least. Be a lot going on. We got Jack Dwight with the Superman. What's going on, dude? Says Reddick will be traded. Doesn't fit in how he wants to draft capital. Reddick doesn't play the run well or drop back and cover. Nobody keeps him very long. <sighs> the thing is, he's been successful as an he's been successful in a scheme like that, though. He's been successful with that. Not as much in Arizona till they actually started. I think we, towards Reddick's last year with Arizona, they started to use him more as a pass rusher, and, and I think he started to get there. Um, you know, so. I won't, I won't say that he doesn't fit. All I'm going to say is, like, I think he can fit, and, and I think you have the best defensive coordinator that runs this scheme. Um, but that's my, 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 my main issue right now is what's the money going to be? And if he's not going to be as productive for the money he's getting, then maybe they're thinking about trading him. You know what I mean? So we'll see. We'll see. It's going to be a, it's gonna be a tough one. That that move has got to. We got to see what happens before anything. That move has got to happen soon. Kane says he was stable at right guard last year. Won't break the bank, I don't think. Joseph F says my dream free agent pickup would be Saquon. Just think of what he would be able to do. I I know, dude. I've always wanted to see Saquon. Saquon would probably be a top five back, dude. Probably a top three back, to be honest with you. If he stays healthy and he's behind a good offensive line, he we have never seen Saquon behind a good offensive line. And I think when he, once he gets to that second level, dude, <laughs> he can outrun a whole defense, man. I I think Saquon is a dark horse, a dark horse signing for the Eagles. Something that no one's thinking of. Maria says Swift is such a liability in the passing game. I think he would be fantastic in the passing game. They tried getting him involved as the weeks went on midseason, and then they just took him away from it. They'd rather have Kenny G in there go, doing pre-snap motion and, and, and doing a bunch of, of the other things that Swift should have been doing. Calgary says, too bad the Packers don't want to trade it as Yair Alexander. He would be a great fit here. Yeah, he's a great player. Chris Scott, what's going on, man? So I'm drafting B. Thomas. If he's there at 22, they're going to be in the, uh, we're going to need AJ Brown's replacement in two years. In the meantime, we're getting an absolute stud. Smith Brown and B. Thomas. Wow, I'm I'm telling you the the idea that the Eagles would have in drafting a, a wide receiver in the first round would be interesting because it does make sense. 
Um, you know, you have to think not just this year. You have to think down the road between having Devontae Smith and A.J. Brown. So we'll see. I mean, Lad McConkey is like my personal favorite, but I know he's not probably not the best guy. Keem says, what's going on? Joey shakes my man. What's going on, Rakeem? Pat says, find a team and package Bradbury and Slay. Go younger at corner. I thought we were losing both of them last year. When Slay went to Baltimore and almost signed there and came back for more money, that's what pisses me off, dude. He went to Baltimore, almost signed. Probably should have. Um, came back. Got more money from the Eagles. And put on his soft hat throughout the year with that damn podcast he has. Chris says, we can get Newman and Trot Jr. in the second round, third round. Oh, offensive guard. Yeah, we could do that. I would love Derrick Henry. I would love Derrick Henry. Four QB says, we're running wild on us. Remember all them extended plays to the first downs. It's my fault, Joey. I was talking about Isaiah. Oh, Isaac Samalo. Uh, well, yeah, Samalo. Yeah, I mean, Samalo's in Pittsburgh now. DB talking now says, sign Marquise Brown or draft Worthy or McConkey. McConkey, look, Lad McConkey would be great. I like him only for this year. Do I like him as a future piece on the outside? Not really, because I think you need a bigger receiver. Otherwise, you're going to have two small receivers. I think McConkey's probably, is McConkey smaller than Devontae Smith? I don't even know, but he's still a small player as well. Plays big, no doubt. Nice is balance, not know if blitz or drop in coverage. Van Ginkle, perfect. I think he is a nice balance. I, that's why I think he's going to be a Philadelphia. Weren't we linked to a guard from the Ravens before Kelsey retired? Yeah, Zentner, whatever his name is. I don't know if his name was Tyler Zentner. I forgot his name, but it was like a, it was like a few weeks ago, a month ago maybe. We heard his name. Um, you know, definitely a link to the Eagles. That's another guy. I, I totally forgot about that guy. Cody said, if the Eagles get Saquon in free agency, what's stopping a veteran guard from signing here for cheaper? That'd be an idea. I think they'll be a nice plug-in player. If you sign Saquon Barkley, they're... Look, we have Jeff Stout. We have the best offensive line coach in the league, okay? They're going to fill that spot, and we're going to be fine at that spot. I'm not really worried about it. I'm not worried about it. <laughs> Swift can't block your sister. Yeah, he's not great at that. <clears throat> That's the only downside to... That's really the only downside to him. Yeah, what are you asking for Reddick in a trade, though? What are you asking for Reddick? That's that's the that's the question. Yeah. So, Calgary says, could Christian Wilkins be an upgrade to replace Fletcher Cox? So, this is an interesting one. Um. I think we had some words said about if you're already okay. Seth Joyner said some words saying if if we already if we're paying Jordan Davis and Jalen Carter on a cheap deal right now, while those deals are happening, why don't you go out and get Christian Wilkins that actually played really well and, and actually, you know, it's now is now released, played and really liked Vic Fangio's scheme. He's one of the guys that actually really liked the scheme a lot. So it could be an option. I'd, I'd be kind of surprised by them signing Christian Wilkins to a big deal. We'll see. Aid says, Slay wouldn't last a day as a Raven. He would be whining within a day. <laughs> this is what the fans think of him now. Like, how you guys talk about Slay now? How we all, some of us talk about him. It, it's just, that's that's what he put on himself. Like, the shit that he says... So Aaron is only three says bring back uh Chauncey Garner Johnson uh Johnson and trade for Justin Simmons. I hell no for Justin Simmons. Why do we want to trade for a 30-year-old? I'm tired of doing that shit, dude. I'm tired of signing 30-year-old safeties. We go down that stretch way too much. Can't do it anymore, man. And you know what? Like, there are a lot of veterans out there. Eddie Jackson's available, played good under Fangio his second year with the Bears as defensive coordinator. Uh, Tracy Walker from the Lions, he got ended up getting released. He's only 28. 
I mean, they could, there's a ton of, I mean, I mean, look, do I think they'll sign a veteran? They could sign a veteran at safety. There's no doubt. Um, I, I'd like to go younger, but who's the best? Who is Justin Simmons the the best safety out there? Is it only because that is it only because that Vic Fangio has a connection to him? Anthony, what do you think about that speedy receiver that ran a four two one? Xavier Worthy. I mean, I like him a lot, but he's just I don't know. I'm I'm hoping he doesn't become a one trick pony. I I think he's got all the speed, no doubt. But is that what the Eagles need? For the future, are you thinking about just this year in the wide receiver three spot? He'd be great as an inside guy, no doubt. But as a future guy, I think you need a bigger receiver. I would love him, but... Robert, Alessandri, what's going on, man? This is Joey. Is there any way we could just trade Bradbury for zero compensation, some retention? We would have to pay still. I just want him gone. He's too soft. I don't think you're trading him, dude. I think you're just going to extend him a couple years spread out the dead cap which goes into the single digits the eagles will eat that up immediately no doubt um that's what they'll have to do i don't think he has any value he might maybe jax is nobody smaller than Devonte lad much faster and craftier than Devonte. i i don't i don't i think i think i don't know i don't i don't think I don't think we've gotten the best out of Devontae Smith, not because of him. I think the scheme, I think some of the play calling, we know what Devontae Smith can do. And you think Devontae Smith is a bad player, then I don't know what to tell you. Joseph McConnell is actually the same high as Smith, weighs 15 pounds heavier. Oh, you mean McConkie? Okay. Like, who the hell is McConnell? <laughs> Yeah, worthy is yeah. That's yeah. I he's just one of those guys where if he takes a big hit, it's it's not going to be good. Like if, if if Xavier Worthy was in this offense last year, he probably would have already had an injury already because you know how they set these receivers up last year. Tanzan, what do you think of BG coming back? Eh, I'm not a not a huge fan. I mean, I love him, but dude, like, I have to be realistic. Like, is he going to produce? I'd rather bring Fletcher Cox back than BG, to be honest. If they sign him, I wouldn't care, but I don't know if it's a wasted spot to bring him back just for him to just, you know, kind of his goodbye after this year, I guess. I don't know. But, um, you know, we'll, we'll see when the time passes. We got Shrek Smith. Welcome to the camper here, man, for all the extra draft content. Thank you so much for joining up, dude. Much appreciated. Very much. Thank you. Um, Domingo China Nicola says, Joey, if we stay at 22, who are you drafting today? Today, if like just in general. I don't like staying at 22. I like moving up. But if they're staying at 22, I'd, I'd like to grab one of these corners. Whether it's Teron Arnold or McKinstry. Nate Wiggins, we'll see what happens with him. But one of those two from Alabama, I would I would totally like. To be honest. I really want corner in the first round. I, I would be I would be interested to see if they do something different. And I wouldn't have an issue with it. Maris is worthy, not just speed, but guys, that's raw. It's worth being look at uh, is Jaleen Polk and Ricky Purcell, Joey. Yeah, I've heard Ricky Purcell's name a lot. I got to check him out a little bit more. Chris Scott says, Brian Thomas, 6'3", 250, and ran a 4'3", He's great. Uh, right tackle runner. Uh, right runner. He has uh, great hands. Best wide receiver in the draft. <clears throat> Ryan Thomas. Interesting. Because of the position the Eagles are in can go right with good moves, but so bad if Howie fucks up. Yeah, I mean, I I don't know if he's on a hot seat this year. I don't know. Roko Cruz says, who are the vocal cultural leaders in the locker room? BG, Cox, and Kelsey aren't there. There's nobody else. <laughs> there's, there's absolutely nobody else. I like Purcell a lot at 97. Ray says any cornerback in this draft is fifth on the depth chart. 
Why? Not better than what we have? Trek, you're welcome, Joe. Thanks for your hardware. I appreciate it so much, Trek. Thank you so much, man. Thanks a lot. Parents, I think a lot of Eagles fans are uh, are concerned that Xavier Worthy will be another Quez Watkins fast, but can't catch. But I don't know. I could be wrong. I I don't think he can't catch. I think I think he's more explosive. I think he brings a lot more to the table than Quez will ever bring. Okay, um, it comes down to like how are you going to use him? Is he is he worthy? No pun intended of being a future number one guy in Philadelphia. You have two speed guys. If AJ Brown leaves, like you don't, I mean, you need a you need a bigger receiver, man. That's the only thing I take out. Of, like, is Xavier worthy? If we didn't have Devonte Smith, Xavier worthy could could be a bigger need. But since you have Devonte Smith here, I don't think you go get a lad. I don't think you get a lad McConkey. I don't think you get Xavier worthy. I don't think you go that direction. And that's just me, though. But I just said, Christian Haynes is a guy I want in the fourth round. Reminds me of Philly play. Check him out at the Senior Bowl. He was putting people on their necks. Not bad D-line players either. Good ones. Check him out. Uh, Tommy says, Kelsey probably understood what the Philly fan base is about. If you, stuck, uh, if you suck, we're going to let you know. If you show effort and passion for the game, we'll respect you. Darius is too soft. Yeah. <laughs> In my video, I actually put Darius, you know, Darius Slay's picture up. I was like, I'm not going to talk about who I'm talking about, but you know who I'm talking about. But those guys don't complain. We, that's, that's the problem, dude. Like, that's why, like, I don't mind going after free agents. You have to do that every year, but you have to draft some homegrown talent that's going to be here. That's why when you draft a corner here, he's here four to five years. That's why when you draft somebody in the first round, they're here for a long time. They understand the fan base. They understand. You know, you don't you don't see Devontae Smith complaining. Okay. Devontae Smith is not even a big talker at times, but you know. What's up, Marcus? <laughs> Devontae is a big body wide receiver. He's our I mean, he's contested catching. I gotta say, he's been very good at that. Uh, Quinion Mitchell is the pick at twenty-two. It it could be, it could be. Uh, the Eagles have met with him multiple occasions already. Wonder if they bring him in for a uh, you know uh, you know a visit. Physical corner goes after the football. Tackling's pretty damn good. Joseph S says, like Philly 500 says, it's how he vision. We're just living in it. Yeah, that's that's true, bro. Marina said, any cornerback in this draft would be a special teams guy for a year or two. <laughs> Are you trolling, Marina? <laughs> Joseph F says, free agency is going to show what Howie is doing. Yeah, I mean, that's, like I said, it's going to designate it. As a sign, uh, Jonah Jackson, guard from Detroit, Dobbs, backup QB. I wonder what they're going to do at backup QB. Does the quiz can't catch an infection in an Asian massage parlor? Gordon Hughes says, do you think we can get Rome Odunez? We need a bigger receiver. If they if they want, why not a, why not a, a Donnie Mitchell from Texas? I mean, at 6263, you know, as fast as he is, and, and that guy could move like crazy. I wonder if he would be available. The Roku Cruz says, per my earlier comment, you need my uh, need technical aware uh, trench players or f uh, finesse players. This draft has to be about long term pieces that could uh, that could drive the team culture, rotation, or free agents as a total. Yeah, I, I get it. Um, you always want to draft top prospects um, for specific positions that are going to be here for a long time. Um, you know, but. I think that's the grit that we need here. We don't have any leadership on our defensive side of the ball, and they need to start getting some guys in here long term. Um, you know, you go into free agency because you're not going to have enough to do in the draft. You know, the Eagles don't have for two first round picks this year. You know, so they, you know, they they still have. You know, you have two second rounders. That's still very good, um, but. 
when you trade for guys and guys that come here and unfortunately when you get these older guys like slay you know they start complaining and bitching about a lot of things and it's unfortunate man And he says, Slay came from Detroit. Their fans never got on their team because they used to lose. Yeah, that's what I said in my video. I said, well, Slay's from a fan base that was so used to losing, you know, they never really cared about them playing, you know, these these players ever, ever playing well. But when you get more demand going to a bigger sports franchise like Philadelphia is, where every move that you make, people are going to call you out on it. He's made himself a fucking target at this point. Any news on Reddick or Swift? Nothing on Reddick. And uh, Swift is going to test the market. That's what the news came out of the other day. Marina says, no tape shows what they are. They all would have been second, third round picks. Well, dude, no shit. This is <laughs> this is what the draft is. It's a gamble. <laughs> it's, it's a fucking gamble. You're paying you're paying players and drafting players as high as you're drafting them for potential. That's that's what it is. <laughs> what you sipping on? It's water. It's just water. I think the rest of the wide receiver in this draft are going to go around late first, entire second round. I don't see many of the good wideouts uh, sliding done to the third round. I don't even know if they last to the third round. I, I doubt it. Uh, Borland Dylan says, I like Latsu in the second and third big, uh, big Birds boy. Latu is definitely not going to get to the second round. <laughs> Latu is going to be a top 15 pick. You're going to look... Chop, Chop and Latu are gone. <laughs> Both of those guys are going to be gone easy. Adi F. Natalia says, um, would be nice to get a lockdown corner in the first. Those two second rounds, I think you trade up uh, draft Cooper and go wide receiver with the other second. Third round, go go multiple directions, running back, O-line, or edge. Yeah, I mean, I think everybody has their mindset on Bradbury getting cut and drafting a number one receiver in here. I'm sorry, drafting a number one corner in here, finally. I think that that's what everybody's trying to go after. Um, you know, if they, you know, go Edgar and Cooper, I think Edgar and Cooper would fit really well in this scheme. I think he's athletically fantastic. Guy runs like a monster. Um, and I, I think he'll do really well. Chris, our biggest needs on defense we can get in the second... Like linebacker and safety, we can get a cornerback receiver or even OG. Oh, yeah, I, I get it. Offensive guard in the first. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. I don't think they go offensive line first round, uh, but I think you're going to trip. I think you're going to you're gonna double dip in free agency, a linebacker, get another one in the draft. They should, they should get three guys. Three guys immediately. How does that vote? The C gets removed from Darius. Give it to some, someone who wears their heart on their sleeve. Shit, give it to Jalen Carter at this point. I get it, dude. <sighs> EC1 says, Slay should ask to go to Baltimore. Stop taking more money. Yeah, I mean, I he he, uh, he took more money from us this past last offseason. And then has the balls to say, I'm, I know, then gets called out. By Jeremiah Trotter that the cornerbacks don't play physical enough and Slay has all these fucking excuses like oh I just don't tackle that way anymore you know like at my age and my career like what dude like you you want to flaunt your fucking millions of dollars and I'm I'm big play Slay and I'm I'm this and I'm that I'm I'm big play Slay oh it's Slay not Darius like shut up dude shut up I, I I'm tired of that fucking guy I can't stand it. I honestly can't stand him I can't stand that fucking guy anymore. I really can't. I, I don't like that guy. I, I I feel like he's just so fucking soft. Like as a as a as a person, he's nice. As a as a player, I can't stand. As a person, he's nice. As a player, just nah.
Yeah, he says, have we given up on the Kobe Dean yet? Not yet, but I'm gonna I'm gonna act like he's not even on the roster because he needs to be available and needs to he needs to play his heart out. Joseph, if we are gonna get Derrick Henry, might as well just get Barkley instead. I feel like Henry don't got much left in the tank. I don't know why people say that. Henry still had over what eleven hundred yards, twelve hundred yards last year with a shit offensive line, injuries all over the place offensively, like. Even if he comes to the Eagles, like, how do you think they're going to use him? They're not going to give him, they're not going to give him the ball like they did in Tennessee. They're not going to fucking put it down. You know, Tennessee built, Tennessee built their offense around a running back, which is the dumbest idea I've ever heard of in my life. They were doing it. That's why they have been, that's why they have been just horrible. I mean, they have, the, they have one of the most cap space in the NFL right now, but this is the reason why you have to, you have to give these guys like I feel like with their their Derrick Henry in general, like you're you're not you're not going to give him a shit ton of snaps. You're not he, yeah, he does he have wear and tear, sure, but he's not gonna be like he was in Tennessee. Keep him fresh throughout the games. I think he'll be fine. Like I, I don't really question it too much. Ronson, I know Bullard at Georgia is getting a lot of attention, but his counterpart, safety uh, Tyke Smith, is really nice, too. I actually like him better. And yeah, we'll see. I think the Eagles have met up with him, at with Bullard, haven't they? Johnson, we missed out on bringing Chauncey Garner Johnson or any notable safety. Tyler Newbin from Minnesota would be a solid addition. Jackson, somebody will get a steal in Peyton Wilson in the second round, but injury concerns. Yeah, Peyton Wilson had a monstrous combine. Play for Sneed. <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. I to remember when Darius got torched on third and 30 by Hilton, who just came off the couch. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. That was really embarrassing. That's something you don't want to see. He says, could you imagine what B-Doc would say if Slay, if Slay said all that shit and Doc was still playing on our team, Slay would get roasted so bad. Yeah, well, the problem is, I think social media is a big problem when it comes to sports. Um, it's a big problem. Um, it's never going to end, obviously. It's just going to get worse over time, but we want to get better at safety. Stay away from CJ. Our main says, do you think Eli Ricks can a, a starter at corner? Not right now, no. I think he needs a little bit more work. A little bit more work. I think the biggest mistake the Eagles made is how they used him. They put him on the inside. They used him as a nickel corner. He did well in Miami. I thought he had Tyreek Hill. He covered him like four times. Did a really good job. But I don't think he did fantastic. Needs more. Needs more. Uh, needs more work. Chris Scott said, did a mock trade back to 28. Picked up 57. Took B. Thomas at 28. Newbin at 50. Cooper at 53. And Rake. Rake Straw at 57. Yeah, Rake Straw didn't really have the best 40 either. He was like a 4 5, 4 6. Rake Straw, I think, fits the scheme as a. He's like a pure. Rake Straw is like a pure zone guy. But he plays physical and he has pushback and he has attitude. Which I really like. Calgary says Henry over Barkley. I need a healthy running back. Oh, I, I'm not even saying Henry over Barkley. If it's between both of them, I'd take Barkley over him. Ken said, I think Chop will be our 22. Way too many other teams going after go, over draft quarterback. Yeah, I mean, I, I think Latu or Chop is going to be the first one off the board. Like, the Eagles are going to have to move up a little bit, a few spots. So, I, I don't know. Joe said, hey, Joey, how, how many times I'll survive, but if getting paid millions to do my job, I would do my fucking job. I'm like, Slay. <laughs> well, that's what they, well, that's what happens in football. You could fuck up. Like, as soon as you sign that contract, you could, you could fuck up as many times as you want, you know? But he doesn't brush it off. Like, his podcast is one of the biggest mistakes that he ever made. This is good afternoon, Joey. After a sad day yesterday, but we'll be good, and I believe Kelsey will still be in the building. Slate needs to leave, yeah. KG says a lot of people just realized officially not resigning some good targets for us, potentially. This says, y'all think trades happen that easy? Sneed for Slay? No, that's just people. People just have their opinions on it. 
I mean, why the hell would KC take Slay? <laughs> that would probably never happen. Never, ever happen. I probably wouldn't either. Because when will the NFL have their first gender play? Oh, God. So, I mean, look. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it comes down. Free agency comes down to linebacker, safety, running back. I think those are going to be your three hits in free agency. The only rumors I've seen so far is they have... There's been rumors of a lot. There's been rumors of Saquon Barkley, a Swift coming back, rumors of Justin Simmons trade, rumors of Chauncey Gardner-Johnson coming back. I mean, there's only been a few things, um, nothing crazy. Uh, Van King, Van Ginkle being a good fit in Philadelphia, not crazy rumors, but like good connections with that. Uh, Dang says, I see Buda Baker as a free agent in Arizona, not picking up his option, maybe an eagle. Yeah, we'll see. Safety, there's a lot of safeties available. And I feel like the Eagles are not drafting one high this year. Definitely not. Um, they're going to be looking through the free agent pool for that safety, no doubt. Chris says, Shakes, you should do an Eagles draft simulation with your members. Do a live one with Philly. Yeah, we might do that. I mean, we'll do our, we'll do a mock. We'll do a mock draft. We'll do a mock. I don't see why not. <clears throat> we usually do every year, so. Stuff says, trade slated Jerry for a second round. I might take a third for him. <laughs> Play is not liked in Philadelphia. I don't know. Maybe he has a lot of fans. Maybe people don't think he's as bad as he, everyone makes him out to be. I don't know. But the attitude thing, the attitude and how he says things and what he says after games and the excuses that come come out, I don't like that shit. That, that Steven Nelson podcast that he had with him was atrocious. It was as bad as it can it was as bad as honestly as it can get, to be honest with you. I just didn't I did not like that at all. Does that feel uh let's see. Hold on. I think we forgot we playing in goddamn Brazil this year. Oh, I kept for dude, I totally forgot about that shit. Well, we play the second game of the season, man. Friday night game, first game of the year. I forgot about that, dude. I we talked about it, and I literally forgot about it. <laughs> we don't think much of it. Oh, yo, Jerry Jones, sign Russell Wilson for cheap and cut Dak. Here's your exit strategy. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't heard nothing on Dak's extension or nothing yet. He says Slay isn't worth a third, fourth at most. I'd be okay with that. I think he's what he says say aj was being portrayed i like kelsey's words in that press conference of like that the players can't handle playing in philadelphia i think that was like a shot i don't i mean i guess like he had to say that just because of just what he thinks of what phil what you know how what what he he has had to deal with with playing in philadelphia and what it means to play under this fan base in philadelphia so i i completely get it So it's not bad. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be nuts. We can't trade Slade due to his dead cap hit. We can cut Bradbury. His dead cap won't be four. Yeah, it won't be bad. It won't if they if they extend Bradbury two years, cut him. We'll be fine. Um, yeah, I think Slade's dead cap number is like eight million. I think if I read it the other day correctly, I think it's eight uh actually it might be higher it might be i thought it was like eight to ten million it was between those two i think it's this thing they say is what you want but when slay locks he's so damn good we've seen slay locked in before oh no i i agree the the problem like back in 22 when that game where slay was following justin jefferson that's where i feel like he was great 
And then when they just kept him on one side of the field the whole entire game, like give him something to do because he does well. The Cowboys game where CD in the slot was killing us this past year. Remember Slay went up to Sean Desai and was like, yo, if 88 goes inside, I'm going there. And he covered him four times and I don't even think he gave up a first down. I, I know he's I know he could play, but because of the mentality of your team and how you and how you play, forget it. It's it's a mess. It's just I don't like I don't I don't like that he doesn't follow the number one guy. I've always hated that. Ray uses his ring of the second corner now that Bradbury isn't good. No, I mean, no, of course not. Not right now, he's not. Maybe in another year, he will be. Potentially, if he plays better, he could be a number two guy. Frankie Ray says, Joey, are you going to broadcast during the draft? Oh, 100%. So, me and Philly 500, the shakedown will happen during the draft. We've been doing it the past two years? Two? Three? Two, I forgot. I'm, I totally forgot my years been doing it. But me and Philly stream on both channels um, and do the whole entire draft. So we will have everything for you guys, and it'll be nice to hang out and chill out. So Chris says the dead cap hit lower for Bradbury and Slay after June first if traded. I don't think so. I don't. I don't. I'm not sure. I don't think I mean I don't think that's gonna happen. I don't I don't think so because I don't I don't I don't think a, a, I never heard a trade would be possible to lower any cap hit. I don't I don't think so. Dead money wise, I don't think it makes a difference. <laughs> Maybe Slay gets humbled by a Brazilian girl with a third leg. Oh, so he needs to go trash team. He doesn't deserve a winner organization. Uh, Joe says that don't complain about booze for being bad at their job. Like, motherfucker, those people in the stands work the week and spent probably a thousand dollars to see a good game, and you come out and play like shit. Yeah, well, dude, like, like, yeah, I mean, going to a game is not fucking cheap, dude. I kind of stopped going to games. I used to go a lot. I'd rather stay home, to be honest, a lot of a lot of the time. But um, if I go once a year, I'll go. If I, if there's a playoff game, maybe I'll go to it. Maybe we'll see. Um, but. It's not cheap, dude. And for me, like, I do, like, I go to a hotel the night before. And then I stay at the hotel. I go to the game the next day. Go back to the hotel. So I'm paying two days for a hotel. I'm paying two nights for a hotel. Paying money for tickets. Gas. Food. It's, it's it adds up, dude. It adds up. And he said, the Broncos trading for Russ was atrocious. Yeah, I mean, you gave up the future for that. Imagine if the Eagles did that shit. Um, our main, Larry Moore said, if you get a first round pick for Reddick, would you trade for... Yes. <laughs> if the Eagles got a first round pick for Reddick, I would trade it in a heartbeat. Heartbeat. There'd be no... And other than, other than that, I wouldn't trade him for anything. I mean... <sighs> If you had to trade him and it was going to happen, I would look for the highest second round pick you could find. Because I'm not trading him for any less than that. Kyrie said, I don't mind Slay. Let him be vocal. Media cries when they don't talk and they damn if they do. Because so that's what I'm saying, bro. But Slay wants to travel. Our, pre our previous defensive philosophy kept him on one side only. And I don't think that's his strong suit. He was easy. Can someone drop his Discord link? I actually left this thing. Can't get back on it. Oh, that's weird. Uh, Anthony, put that put that link back in if you have it. The link for the Discord back in. I don't. I don't even have Discord open on my computer right now. I. I don't. Even, I have to sign back in, so I don't want to take time. I. I forgot my. I have it on my phone, but I have my stream running. So. You guys, so what happens to Maddox? Gets cut post June. Seven point one million dollars free. Devontae Smith draft stream was wild. Yeah, dude, it was crazy because we finally, I mean, we moved up. The Cowboys helped us, traded up with the Cowboys. Thanks, Anthony, for that. Appreciate it, man. There's a Discord link. 
Uh, Tom said, I paid so much money to treat my dad to an Eagles game, and it was the Niners game. Ah, shit. The fans bought the energy, and the team was lifeless. No passion, no fight. It was really sad to watch. That's what I said. After we lost that game, that's what I said after that game. I said, man, I was like, I'm mad. The people that spent money. To Every time the Eagles lose brutally, like, and those tickets were probably fucking expensive. That sucks, man. Gail Gardner says, with the Ravens franchise tagging their DT, does that open up the door for Patrick Queen as the Ravens have 9.3 million in cap? Is that all they have right now? Interesting. I mean, I think... I think Patrick Queen... I don't think Patrick Queen is getting tagged. He's a free agent, so I don't think that even matters. Funny thing is, more than half of the fan base want to run... Not me! <laughs> Not me. I did not want him coming here. I did not. Nope. I wanted to give Jalen Hurts another year. I didn't give a shit. I didn't want to give up all those picks. No. Oops. Hold on. I say we draft Dallas Goddard's replacement. Yeah, I mean, they re-signed Albert O, another player that was traded for, gave up a draft pick, and didn't use him barely this, this year at all. But Jack Stahl is a free agent, and Calcaterra is just a, an injury-prone mess. VA Sports 2, I said, what would be your dream draft selections for free AC signings? I mean, it's it's it just depends. There's a there's a lot of guys I want. I mean, I want one of the Alabama corners or Quinion Mitchell in the first round. I would take Jeremiah Trotter in the second, Edgar and Cooper if he drops. Um I I I'd take Lala too. I'd take Chop Robinson. I mean, I between edge rusher, linebacker, corner, it doesn't matter. Um at this point, I would love Patrick Queen, but probably not gonna get him. Uh, but I like I like Van Ginkle. I would try a Chase Young move at defensive end. Um, safety wise, uh, I don't know what they're going to do safety wise. I don't really like too many safeties unless if you're telling me to get the best veteran guy, maybe Tracy Walker from Detroit. Um, shit, I don't know. I mean, running back. I mean, Swift, Derrick Henry, Saquon Barkley could be. Um, you know, a dark horse type move for the Eagles that no one would susp you know, expect that much. <clears throat> Frankie Grace is due to NFL rules. Russell Wills can only sign for a veteran minimum. Would you have him as our backup? No. He's like another... He reminds me of Carson Wentz. He's like too much into like... I'm not saying this in a bad way because obviously like I'm religious, but like he brings like that fake I don't fucking know. He's like, oh, he's got that fake, like, come on, guys, like you'll be you'll be losing by 50 points. We'll be like, come on, guys, let's go. You know, like I he's just got that like weird fucking personality. I don't know. He's like, your house could be burning down and I'm trapped under a piece of floorboard with fire around me and like he would say that everything's gonna be okay like i that's that's the shit i can't stand with him he hides a lot of his emotion in a lot of ways like he doesn't i feel like he's like you know like those memes of him broncos country let's ride like those <laughs> those fucking memes were, were great He's just too nice of a guy. I don't fucking know. I don't know. Queen hits free agency. That's got to be a top. Oh, wait, he's going to be the top free agent linebacker. That's why I think the Eagles are not going to get him. Because I think the, the teams that are going to pay him are going to just fucking just keep that money is going to pile up. You would thought the Broncos were trading for Tom Brady with compensation, not Russell Wilson. I, I get it. Yeah, I saw Hayden Hurst got released. Yeah. I'd probably want Barkley, to be honest, over Henry. 
just because I feel like Barkley has a lot more juice left. And I think I want to see him as a top three back in the league behind this offensive line. I, yeah, I think he would be. I think he instantly would be. If I said, would you bring back Jack Stahl? I really liked him for some reason. I love how good of a blocker he was. And when he got the uh, the ball, he looked physical when running. Yeah, I like I like Jack Stahl a lot. I don't think was given a lot of opportunity. So when Dallas Goddard got injured, I hated the fact, and this coaching staff, Nick, pisses me off. They just totally ignore the position. Like, I can't stand when a guy gets injured, you ignore it. You trade for Albert O, you don't fucking use him. Okay, and Jack Stahl does a lot of the dirty work. Like you said, he does a lot of the blocking, but when he gets his hands on the ball, man, he's, he's a physical specimen. Not the fastest guy, but damn, guy can get some yards. You know? Enrique Garcia says, Joey, don't be surprised the Eagles signed Tony Pollard. It wouldn't shock me. It wouldn't. Is it my high? Is it a guy that I want here? No. But is it a guy that I feel like would fit what Kellen Moore does? Sure, but do I want him? He's an ex-cowboy, not really interested. You know, I'm just not interested. Be prepared, because I bet they're taking O-line with the top pick. I I don't know if they're going to do that. You, you got a heavy defensive draft, dude. You better not you better not go back to when you drafted Andre Dillard because that pick pissed me off. High defensive draft. What was it, 21? High defensive draft that year. And they go the total opposite in offense. Yeah, I don't even think Pollard played that well last year, dude. I don't, I don't think they used him well last year either. Tracy Walker isn't better than Chauncey Garter. No, I'm saying like Chauncey would be my top. Look, Chauncey would be the top guy that I signed, but I, I was speaking from a veteran standpoint. Like Tracy Walker would probably be my top guy over Eddie Jackson, over, over you know, you know, Quandre Dig, you know, some of these other guys now. So I'd, I'd go with Tracy Walker at 28 years old, or I'd go. I'd go Chauncey Garner Johnson, but from a because there's a lot of veterans, there's a lot of veterans available. So, so there are like five corners, edge rushers, and linebackers. I'd be willing to get maybe four on the linebackers. Walter, do you really think Chauncey Garner would come back? I don't know. I've seen reports that from Tony Pauline that he wants to that not he wants to come back. I haven't seen that yet, but I've seen that there has been some mutual interest. So we'll see. I saw someone write to say because Cam Durant is the redhead from Nebraska who grew up in the cattle ranch that he'll either be the nicest guy on earth or worse than Hitler. He plays pissed off though. I've seen some of the offseason work that the offseason program with the Eagles did and I saw like Cam Jurgens. Remember when Kelsey had the orthoscopic surgery on his elbow which kind of forced Cam to play center the whole offseason? I remember like Kelsey was right next to him the whole time, like kind of coaching him up. And I'm going to say this, Cam is not the nicest guy and in a good way. Cam Jurgens is, is fucking relentless, he's tough, athletic. He's physical as shit. <laughs> I'm, that's why I feel really comfortable with him at center. I really do. Um, the problem is he's got a little bit of an injury thing going on. It's injured. But these guys get injured all the time. Kelsey was injured every fucking year and still played, you know? Hollywood got to Wilson after getting married to Sierra. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. No, they're they're dead cap for Russell Wilson's 85. 85 million in dead cap, dude. Horrible. IDF Natalia says, for safety, I'd love to get Chauncey Garner-Johnson back. If cheap coming off injury, double dip, sign Jeremy Chin with Garner-Johnson. I think they need to get two more safeties regardless, so I agree with that. I agree. Yeah, Devin White should be... I think he is. Is he? I thought there was a tag. There might have been a trade tag, maybe, a tag and trade, but I, I think he's hitting free agency. 
Yeah, they re-signed Albert. Oh, yeah, but the, like that's a good sign though. With Kellen Moore, that's a good sign. Albert O is pretty. He's a. I think he's the fastest linebacker we have. His route running is pretty good. He has starting experience. His acrobatic catching. I think Albert O has got a big future here if used. I, I I've always thought that when we traded for him, because we were last. This is coming off the Super Bowl, so we were last on the waiver wire. So they trade for him because they knew if he even went on the waiver wire, you know, we wouldn't have got him. Someone else would have picked him up. Black Wolf 19 says, I hope Patrick Queen signs with the Eagles. I, I hope so too, bro. I feel like there's going to be way too many teams going after him. It's going to be like, it's going to be way too much. There's going to be way too many suitors. The Eagles are, I, I, how high are the Eagles willing to go at linebacker when it comes to money? I don't know. Eagles will have money. Eagles will have some money, no doubt. Sorry. Marco Polo says, Joey, what do you think of extending Opeta for right guard if Durgan starts at center? I think they should still sign him. The problem is, is that has Opeta showed enough for other teams that he could start as a right guard? He might. I think he could start for another team, to be honest with you. But he could play both guard spots for us. That's why his value is so high. I'd like Swift and A.J. Dillon. Yeah, I like that too. You got some power with A.J. Dillon. Uh, and Swift, you have that dual threat capability and get him involved in the passing game. I think that'd be a great duo, duo too. I like A.J. Dillon as well. Bill said, it's great wide receiver draft. If it wasn't for Kelsey's retirement, it'd be perfect time to get a future number two wide receiver. I'm worried we're going to go O-line with our first. I think people are going too crazy. I think people are panicking way too much with Kelsey retiring. Yeah, it's an eye opener, but do you not think that the Eagles have already known that he was going to retire? Come on now. Um, there is a plan in motion. You got to trust Jeff Stalin, what he does with his process on getting a guy in there. I think they plug. I don't think they pay a guy top tier free agency. I think they plug somebody in, but we'll see. Chris says, I uh, think Brown can absolutely be back by September. You can be back in six months. Torn Achilles, my son is do a doctor. Well, therapy said Brown should be back in September. Really? I thought he wouldn't be back till like October ish, end of October, maybe. I hope he comes back. The problem, him coming back like middle of the season, not middle of the season, but during in season, you know, he's got to get back. I mean, it sucks, man. Like they put him in a, in a, in a meaningless game. And tore his ACL. And I actually started to like Sidney Brown a lot more at safety than corner, to be honest with you. He just covers so much ground with his speed. Um, Sidney Brown has become one of my favorites. I think he's definitely a hybrid player for us, no doubt. Joseph F said, I like Swift and Dylan. Uh, Gainwell or Saquon in a drafted running back in Gainwell? I don't like Gainwell, period. I don't like Gainwell even as a one-two punch at all. But Chris, I honestly think how he wants a bigger back as fast can block and is a home run hitter. Saquon is that guy. I think he is too. I think he is too. I think Cam is going to be really good. I think Cam is going to be amazing. Gonna be a lot of pressure on him. He's gonna be a lot of shoes to fill. He's just he wants to be his own guy. He wants to be his own player, and you know he wants to make Philadelphia proud. Man, I think he will. For the Fox Games, his beef jerky goes to center. Opeta stays. We move a uh, Steen into right guard after a year under Stalin. I'm also thinking Eagles go line early in the draft. Use free agency fills. I feel like the Eagles will go after offensive line within the first three picks. I feel like one of those second round picks could be a say uh, could be a, a, a an offensive lineman. They usually draft one pretty early. You're, you're gonna have to draft one. You know, Lane Johnson is gonna retire in a couple years. Right, to, you know, right tackle is gonna be a hole sooner or later. You know, Lee Brown was projected as a third round pick, but we got a steal in the fifth. Yeah, he was projected a lot earlier. 
This is a good one right here. DV Talking Out says, it will be Cam at center. Doesn't anyone remember how dominant Cam was right away as a rookie in the preseason at center? I think it will be Steen or they will sign a guy to play right guard or maybe Opeta. Opeta played. Yeah, I think, yeah, I mean, I remember some of the, those, you know, when he was pulling on a couple plays and he was just fucking putting people on their ass, dude. So. Jay says, Nick gets fired this year. He could take game well with him. <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> yes <laughs> that's the truth though that's the truth though Bibles fly being a Huskers fan from Omaha, Omaha Nebraska Omaha and diehard Eagles fan for over 40 years Cam is a nice guy off the field but plays like a mean beast on the field he reminded me of Jason Kelsey on Saturday hey look if you're a Huskers fan I guess you know all about Cam Jurgy. And um, I know he plays tough, man. I mean, you you put Kelsey and Cam next to each other, they almost look exactly the same. <laughs> almost. Stuff 23. Now see how we pay the price tag on Queen. Hell, he doesn't want to pay Reddick. Hold on. Let me get let me just fill my water real quick. Two seconds. All right, sorry, I had to get water because my baby Yoda cup. Yeah, yeah. All right, sorry. Um, I don't see how he's paying a price tag on Queen Hill. Uh, hell, he doesn't want to pay Redick. Give it time, dude. <laughs> the Redick thing, give it time. Give it some time. Uh, maybe said, let's not forget Kelsey had uh, a say in Cam Jurgens being drafted. Yeah, nice collaborative effort, and he had a lot to do with it, no doubt. Brown towards ACL. I that's what I'm saying, dude. I I thought this injury was going to be a lot. I did not see him coming back in September. I did not see him coming back in, in September. Um, there's a thing about game was that he is not horrible. He's just most average running back ever. Like nothing really special about him. Like doesn't bring much to the table. He's just an average. He's just an average running back. He's just an average running back, man. I I feel like he's good, but he's just like he doesn't have a special skill set. Like he's not the most athletic guy. He's like another Josh Adams. He's another Wendell Smallwood. He's just, he's a guy that can leave Philadelphia right now, go somewhere else, and he wouldn't even get fucking playing time. So. That's just me, though. Hell yeah. Listen, so you can't forget stuff that has been said over and over and over. I, I know. I hear it every day. They talk, I'm not Saul and Fangio. His defense with Miami was mediocre, middle of the pack against the pass, and was in the bottom of the league in points allowed over 20. I don't think it's as bad as everybody thinks it is. But you got to have an offense that puts points on the board because this defense will make stops. You know what I mean? Third in pressures. Gets pressure. He hits home with his defensive line. Knows how to use his linebackers, but needs the right personnel on his defense. That's that's the whole thing that I'm I've been trying to say about this defense. Like athletically, we're just not good enough to run this scheme. And you don't have the guys that have heart, which is worse. So that's gotta change over time. Would you sign Odell? No. No, 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 no. I don't know what's so fascinating about Odell Beckham Jr. I honestly don't. The guy has took a massive decline. The guy is always hurt. The guy is a the guy is one of the most selfish players. If he doesn't get the ball enough, he bitches, he complains. Why would anybody even want him to come to Philadelphia? 
The one thing a game mode does better than other running backs is block. And I think that's over saying it. I think that's overstated as well. Like, I don't think it I don't think his pass protection is as great as everyone thinks it is. It's okay. It's better than Swift's, no doubt, but I don't think it's anything special. And I think Miles Sanders was probably the best guy that even Miles Sanders was the best guy here. <laughs> Game well blocking it so well for us this past season. That's what I'm saying. There's got to be more that goes into it than just that, you know. Howie the dumpster diver. Uh, let's get some uh, one-year deals. You tore your ACL last year? How much money? You're signed. <laughs> You had spinal surgery? How much? You're signed. He says, it's interesting that everyone on the deal dropped off this year that Hargrave leaves. I think that could be another reason for Eagles possibly go after Will. That's not the re dude. That's not the reason why. Come on now. You're you're gonna you're gonna blame, you're gonna say that the DL dropped because of Hargrave leaving? No. <laughs> Did you see our coaching, dude? No rotation. You don't know how to blitz. You're not running stunts. I mean, if everybody hit a wall, it's not because of one fucking guy. Um, as this is bring back Jones. John Rios, I try I try better Barkley giving him an opportunity than Ode. Yeah, a hundred percent. I'd give O I'd give sorry, I'd give Barkley a bigger I'd give Barkley anything he wanted. Come back here. Come here. Just saying could have been one of the reasons. No. No, I, I think um I think you, I mean, you look, at the end of the day, like, you weren't going to pay Hargrave. He was getting, I mean, 30 years old, you didn't pay that much money. No one, the Eagles weren't in for that. That's number one. Number two, Jalen Carter is going to be a fucking monster. Like, if the whole D-line is not playing well, like, it's got to be a specific reason. Like, nobody popped out. Everybody just died. So... Hargrave wanted too much. That's why we let him walk. Exactly. And I think we have a much bigger future talent. Way bigger talent. With Jalen Carter. Joe says, how he goes up, the team's asking if they have the end of the season sale going on. Ask for two players for the cost. <laughs> Wait, his head was decapitated from a fishing accident and it was sewed back on? How much? You're signed. Go <laughs> like, I just don't know why we're going after DTs. Well, if Fletch doesn't come back, that really hits your depth a little bit. Um, I'm not saying, I, I like I said, I talked about uh, a Chase Young signing for 13 mil or on the edge or something like that in rotation i've talked about you know christian wilkins might be it might be a under the radar type signing for the eagles seth joiner said some things about it. it's like dude if you're paying if you're paying jalen carter and jordan davis on the rookie deal still and they still have a few years to go sign christian wilkins to a big deal while those contracts are going on it's possible add to your defensive line Get Wilkins in the building. Am I against it? No, but like, how much is he going to want? And like, there's a lot of holes on this defense still, you know? Is DT going to be your main focus going to free agency? What's your first move? Besides the Reddick extension, what's your first move? Like your first ever move? That'd be a great move. Don't get me wrong, but... Nate says, I asked my brother last year if he wanted OBJ the Packers. He said, sure, he can come here and underperform too. 
<laughs> yeah, well, dude, Sweat, dude, like I said, like, it's not that Sweat's not a good player. Like, Sweat had a sack the last game of the season against the Giants. He didn't get a sack before that until, like, week nine. Everybody hit a fucking wall. Jordan Davis is getting a lot of shit right now. I get it. This is a crucial year for Jordan Davis, no doubt. Really showed beginning of the year that he could pass rush. Man, the way he chased Josh Allen down. I mean, seriously. I mean, Josh Allen, like, the way he chased him down and just knocking bodies over. That Tampa Bay game, the first Tampa Bay game, Jesus Christ. Him and Jalen Carter, line, that was just insane, dude, watching them just destroy that offensive line just single-handedly together. I mean, it's crazy. Do you think we see a much better product on the field with the new coaching staff? I 100% believe that. It can't get worse. <clears throat> it can't get any worse. Wilkins, for sure, he'd be at top of the priority for Angela. You'd think so, huh? I'm wondering to see if this, is, this actually would happen. Buff up the D-line and linebacker will go crazy. They're going to have to buff it up. They need two bodies at defensive end. They need a body at defensive tackle. Okay? They need they they need bodies, no doubt. Yeah, Byron Murphy would be great. But I don't know if that I I don't know if they go after another DT in the first round. I don't know if they go after another DT. That's the problem. I know it's easy to just say draft a DT in the first round, but <laughs> he says, how do you mention this pressure that we probably wouldn't need to address DT? I don't think the Eagles get Christian Wilkins. I could see him going to the Cardinals. We do need a rotational. Yeah. Like go get a rotational, go get Chase Young, go get Leonard Floyd, go get, I don't know. Uh, there's a lot of them out there for a mid-tier cost. I think there's some cost-effective moves on the edge they can make for rotation. Look, Vic Fangio, the one thing he does right is pressures. The one thing he does right is getting his defensive line home. That's what he does right. And, the, and you have to sign the right linebackers behind this line that he can use that have the athletic ability to hold up. And I think that's what he's going to do. You can't have one without the other. Can't have one without the other. My first free agency move is a linebacker. That's fine. I hope they get one. Um, Danny Buzz said you can get a DT late with Jefferson or Randolph Jr. Maybe Gabe Hall. Maybe yeah, but is that enough though? It's not gonna be enough. They need like a full on ro pressure rotation. They need they need guys ready to go. Uh God dog advice on defense. We need linebackers and safeties before all else. Well, we'll get it. I think I think they're gonna go. I think they're gonna grab a safety. I think they're gonna grab a couple linebackers, and I think they're gonna go after a defensive end. That's that's where I think they're gonna go and running back. So, just remember, guys, the Eagles have more money to spend. Like we don't normally have. If the Eagles only had like twenty-seven million star free agency, then yeah, we can't make any moves. Barely, maybe one move, and they would be horrible moves. But because you have the more you draft, look, the more you draft well, okay, at specific positions, the less money you have to spend, or the more but more cap you're gonna have to say, hey, this guy's not, is still on his rookie deal for another. Th you know, two years, let's sign this guy to a three-year, you know, there's, there's, you can maneuver things like that. So if you have like Jordan Davis and Jalen Carter that are still on their rookie deals, you could go sign a big time DT if you really wanted, like the, they have the, they can maneuver that way. Make money up, friends. Jacksonville released a corner slay old ass said he had a good year. Ah, uh, clowny. Eh, maybe. But how much interest they'll have? Eh, I guess. I'd rather take Leonard Floyd because Leonard Floyd has actually played in coverage before. He's actually played in coverage in his career. 
So Leonard Floyd wouldn't be too bad. Yes, I want verse in the first round, but my gut tells me it's going to be Guyton or Mims. You lose Cox and want Wilson, save yourself $20 million and yeah, and go get Murphy. Hey, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. I'll be honestly shocked if they tr if they go a third year and getting another DT in the first round. I'll be kind of shocked over it. But long vote says, what are your thoughts on the Eagles getting Kool-Aid? Now, Kool-Aid's dealing with a Jones fracture in his pinky toe of his foot. Um, we'll see him at his pro day. Um, but I, I, I think he fits really well here. Like with, 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 uh, Kool-Aid McKinstry, man. I mean, he's got that physicality at cornerback. Um, I think he turns around really smooth. I, 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 I think he's great. I no issue. I uh, don't know if he's going to move down the draft too much. Hopefully this foot issue doesn't become more of a problem. Um, cause these foot injuries you have to watch out for as well. So that'll be taken into account too, with a lot of teams. You see one says today is the final day for Francis Tag. Expect Tag Can is bearing a deal at the deadline of Josh Allen. Yeah, that sucks. If jo I wish Josh Allen was available. It would have been great. Um, Jaguars, Brian Burns, Panthers, Jalen Johnson, Bears. Is the Niners fans already talking about how to get out from uh get out from Hargrave contract? We dodged a bullet. Why? He played well last year. Why are they trying to get out from it? Dude, they're lucky as shit, dude. I mean, they're not lucky, but they're the only reason why they have the roster of what they have right now is because they're not paying a quarterback. I mean, literally, like, wait till they got to pay. Wait, just wait. Give it one more year, and then going into next offseason in 25, they're going to get... The, the the money that Purdy is going to make is, is going to... They, their window has been open the last couple of years already. They have another window open next year to to make it to try to get into the Super Bowl again. And if they don't, it's bye bye. Uh, Premier League team is Swift or draft a running back for more cap room. Swift, dude. Don't. This, I'm sorry, but there's not that many running backs that I absolutely love that much. If you want to sign a guy through the market and then go to get a guy on day three, whether you get a power guy through the market and free agency or you get a dual threat guy, we'll see. But these running backs are not going to get paid. <laughs> They're not going to get over $10 million a year. Imagine C. Jones, Carter, and Davis in a 3 4 set. C. Jones? What about Chandler Jones? Chandler Jones is a fucking mess right now. Have you been watching him the last few months? That guy's on like suicide watch. I don't know if you guys have seen his stuff the last few months, but. <clears throat> Those that don't want Snead or Burns, those kind of contracts, I think, would hurt more than they help. I'm not a big fan of signing a cornerback in free agency. I'm not. I never really have been. I love it. I would. I love like <clears throat> Lejarius Snead would be great, but now you got to trade for him now. Let's see. Brian says, move back a couple spots in the first. More picks. Draft to wide receiver three, future wide receiver two, linebacker, best DT available, and safety linebacker with the second round pick. So I thought for the draft. That's not bad. Yeah, I mean, the Eagles could move back. <clears throat> Maybe. I mean, they got, they got what? They got a first. They got two seconds. They got a third, which is the compensatory. I don't know if they have a fourth. They have four fifth rounders. <laughs> Joseph, the running backs this class are just a bunch of Kenny Gainwell, so you know they suck. I'm I'm not I'm not a big fan of of the the all these running backs in the in this class. This JC Jackson now nah, he hasn't done shit in two years. JC Jackson hasn't done anything in two years, dude. He hasn't been good in two. 
Oh, Chris Jones? No. Well, that's old dude, no. He's going to get a big contract. I think that Chandler Jones, I'm like, who the fuck would want Chandler Jones? <laughs> who the hell would want Chandler Jones? I mean, he's old. I mean, Chandler Jones is old as shit. And the guy was like saying some stupid shit online. Guy's like having a fucking, I don't know. That guy's, that guy's having some issues with his life. I hope he gets better. But they're still thinking about keeping Chase Young. Hey, if he's if he's gonna be a free agent, I would sign him as a as a as a rotational piece on the edge. I don't see why not. I don't see why not. But we are two hours in. We're gonna go through another three minutes of questions. And then we're probably going to end for the day. Uh, we'll have more videos out, obviously, tomorrow. A lot more stuff going on. So, go through a few more here, and we'll we'll end the day on a good note. So, these streams for March are every single day. We're streaming every day. The road to free agency. We'll be probably streaming after free agency every day as well, like a week or two after. So, then it starts to die down a little bit. Um, we'll have the shakedowns on. We'll have the shakedown on Saturday, obviously, as usual. Uh, but we'll be streaming every single day. No more night streams until like things actually start you know, breaking a little bit. We'll have maybe a double stream here and there. Uh, but we'll be uh, be right. Oh, the Eagles don't have a fourth rounder. So they have a third and, a, and four fifths. I, I knew they didn't have... I thought they didn't have a fourth. Okay. I know one of those picks. I know the third is a compensatory. No, definitely not. I don't want that job. No way. Never want that job. Yeah, so we need to trade one of those fits and move up in the fourth. Tons of talent. Oh, yeah, dude. Like, they're not drafting four guys in the fifth round. <laughs> not happening. Not happening at all. Crosby would be interesting. Nah, but that they they love him over there. They love him over there. I doubt they get rid of him. Devin White should be a free agent. Yeah, Diggs is... Uh, Quandre Diggs got released. Any large, let's go Eagles. We need to address these... We need to address defense. Linebacker, cornerback, and safety. And of course, running back and a slot receiver. But for me, we need to get better on defense. I mean, at the end of the day, defense needs the bigger upgrade than offense. You know what I mean? Dad says you and Philly need to do a show from eleven uh to uh, eleven to two every day now that sports take got canceled. Oh. Yeah, the problem is our schedules because he works, I work, our schedules kind of don't align well when it comes to the weekday. Well, obviously, when the draft comes, we take off of work from our normal jobs and we try to get the draft in stuff. So Thank you, Anthony, for putting the Discord. Make sure you follow me on Discord for the official, for the Joey Shake 72 Discord. Make sure to follow that. Um, I do video chats with everybody. We, you know, talk about things when certain things happen. So throughout the draft process, throughout, obviously, free agency and stuff. So I usually jump in there and we'll talk about things. So definitely click that link. Join that up if you guys have it. And he says, uh, resign Chauncey Garner Johnson back. Yeah, it'd be great. As Philly says, uh, sign Barkley, Van Ginkle, and CJ Gardner. Fill the rest through the draft. They're gonna do. They'll, they'll do more. I think they'll do more than that. To be honest. Chris says, I just don't know if CJ really wants to go back. Yeah, I don't. I that's the thing. Like the Eagles have interest in bringing him back. I don't know what Chauncey is thinking in his head. At 28 years old, Jamal Adams cut. Yeah, he's just, he's just, he's injury prone, dude. Wondering what the Flyers do this Friday. I don't watch the, I don't watch hockey at all. I, I do sometimes, but not all the time. Kenneth Murray is a free agent also. Yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be interesting free agency, man. It's going to be a lot to, a lot to talk about, but we'll get into more stuff tomorrow, more rumors, more stuff. We'll be back here between 11 to one o'clock in the afternoon on a stream tomorrow. Check out for more videos. Check out the pinned comment description below. 
for the draft highlight reactions. We go over pretty much prospects every single day. Uh, so definitely click the link. You get the lowest tier. Get the extra content if you want it. It's there. It's there for you guys. Um, and yeah, uh, we will be back on another one tomorrow. You guys enjoy the rest of your day. And I will see you guys on the next one. And remember, Jake's going up, file side. Peace out, guys. Enjoy it. Enjoy your day. I'll see you guys next one. Love you all. Peace out.